Yeah, good morning, Lisa. Well, they say this has to do with what teachers refer to as simultaneous teaching. Now, you may recall this is something I actually covered in depth back when schools here in Florida were first set to reopen. Now, at that time, we had covered this from the teacher's point of view, and teachers had expressed some real concerns as well about how teaching in person and distance learners at the same time could negatively impact everyone involved. Miles Smart Tutoring, which is based in Florida and has tutors in the Fort Myers area, says that's what it's seeing currently. Some of them are going in person, some of them are going online. When there is that mix, it's very difficult to transform the media, if you will, between teachers who are doing multiple things at the same time, students who are at home, and students who are going in person. So between all those complications, it can be very difficult to address every student. And so as a direct result, they're needing more assistance within subjects. He says they're seeing both in-person and distance learners coming in for help, but that in-person learners seem to be having fewer problems. That's why parents with distance learners are turning to tutors. But this is leading to another problem. Miles says there's a huge demand for in-person tutoring, but a much smaller supply of tutors who feel comfortable doing so because of COVID. Now, we're going to talk about how those who are tutoring in person are working to make it safe. Also, how tutoring companies like this are working to meet the demand for in-person person tutors and I'm going to explain how this also means job openings right here in our area. If you are someone who's working to rebound amid the pandemic, I'll have those details and more coming up for you in our next half hour. For now reporting live, Jessica Alpern Fox 4. Okay.